You're listening to Hashtag No Filter with Zach Peter. That's me, your naturally platinum blonde pop culture connoisseur. I'm the reality TV junkie, self-improvement addict, and host with only the hottest tea spilled fresh weekly. For more hot takes, go and give me a follow at Just Plain Zach. I always keep it funny and I always keep it cute. Or if you're like me and you want to stay up to date with the latest reality tea, just go and give us a follow at No Filter with Zach on the Instagram. Or you can always join our private Facebook group. The link is in the description below. Guys, I hope you are sipping on some fizzy housewives inspired wine for yourself. Pack it to punch at 30% alcohol by volume, but less than a of sugar. It is my Housewives Watching Wine, my no filter wine. It was originally called Housewives Watching Wine, and then it just eventually grew into just being no filter wine. We it is still Housewives inspired. We have a fizzy white wine and a fizzy rose, both delicious. I kind of want to crack open a rose right now because that just sounds yummy. Um, but it's a little early to be drinking just yet. But maybe tonight, maybe in a little bit. I'm actually, as you're watching this, I'm actually in New York um, getting ready for the Spilling Tea Live show with Margaret Josephs from Real Housewives of New Jersey. If you guys haven't gotten your tickets yet and you're not able to physically make it to City Winery in NYC tonight, then you can live stream it and get your tickets at SpillingTeaLive.com. We have a lot of fun questions that you guys sent in that we're going to be asking Margaret on Thursday, Thursday night, April 28th. 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Get ready. It's going to be good. I'm excited. Um, and I'm excited because I have an exclusive clip from our L.A. show we, that we filmed at The Bourbon Room with Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz. You're going to get our full interview with both Toms, and you're going to see Tom Sandoval basically say that he still has hope for Tom Schwartz and Katie to work out. And you're going to see Tom Schwartz address why he is still wearing his wedding ring, which apparently he was still wearing at the Vanderpump Paris opening in Las Vegas with Lisa Vanderpump last week. So we're going to get into all of it. And I'm excited to share it. But first, you know, Adam and I are gearing up for the final stop of our spring spilling tea live tour. And you know the tea is always better when it's sweetened with Pure Cane. Pure Cane has been one of our incredible sponsors on the tour. And we've loved getting to share it with all of you. Hope you've been enjoying it too. This Thursday at our show at City Winery NYC, our cocktails will be sweetened with Pure Cane. So if you haven't tried it, now's your chance. It's a Zero calorie, diabetic friendly, keto friendly, and vegan friendly sweetener. It's a perfect all natural swap to all of your favorite sweet treats. And the best part is it's derived from sugarcane originally, so it still tastes like sugar without the bitter aftertaste, like some of those other products on the market. This one you can trust. So if you haven't tried it yet, you'll want to head over to purecane.com to learn more. That's purecane.com, purecane.com. Also available on Amazon. All right. That said, now that our sweet tooth has been satiated, it is time to reveal the interview with Vanderpump Rules stars Tom Sandoval and Tom Shore. Some Tom's Good Lovin' Bourbon and some rye. Once upon a time, I was falling apart. I mean, wait, falling in love. Wait, what do you want? Do you want the port blended bourbon or do you want the rye? Oh, that's a tough one, but bourbon, please. I want to to wear the pants and choose it for you. I'm. Oh, the mastery. Ooh. I love how, like, we didn't plan this, by the way. We didn't know that he was doing, this is a presentation, but we should have. I worked for the Toms. I opened Tom Tom as a server working there, so I should have known. Everything's over the top. Thank you. It's all over the top. It's all the del- Wait, that was back when we were both fucking Guillermo, right? Or was <laughs> that with... What? Actually, that wasn't me. I wasn't one of the girls coming out of the bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> Adam, can we tell them how we bonded together? Or should we not divulge that? We don't have to. No, I mean, we can. So, actually, I don't know if you remember this, Shorts, but the first time I ever met Shorts was that infamous episode that you guys saw on Vanderpump Rules. Um, you were a bartender for a day. Yeah. Like, two hours. I dabble. Pump. Yeah, I dabble. And that is how we- then he became my boss, one of my bosses, and he was the first boss that I ever had that offered me a joint. So. Yeah. yeah. 
Cheers. Wait, listen to the sound. And yeah, yeah, these are nice. Ooh, that's some Ooh, good love. That is good. That is really good. That is gonna get me late tonight. I'm a little toasty. I thought we were going on at 7 30. <laughs> no, that was the arrival time, so we could have like a half an hour or so to chill. Anyways, so my God, I met so many fabulous people. He literally showed up. I'm like in the gym. It's like 6.30. Schwartz is like, let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Or no, actually, it was like 5.45, honestly. Yeah. Wow. God. It's like a needle. Like, he's always like, he's always pushing the early. And I'm always like, no, nah, let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute. <laughs> well. Schwartz, you I'm always on time when I'm late. I don't start yes, with me. Yeah. He was here first. He's a cron optimist. It's an urban dictionary. It. He's a cron optimist. Sorry. Well, Schwartz, you've you've been in the news quite a bit. You know, I have oh oh, he's going right for the Oprah moment right for the jugular. He's going Listen, right for the Oprah now moment. He's good cop, I'm bad cop. Now I'm only falling but, apart. How are you holding up, Schwartz? Total eclipse. How are you holding up? No, I'm actually solid. I will. Um, how am I holding up? I, no, I'm okay. I Schwartz is doing I'm great. Relatively, relatively speaking, after what I've seen other people go through, uh, pretty good. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I want all the sympathy. Fuck it. I'm tired of being it modest. Works. I want all of your empathy. I'm, I'm an empathy works. vampire. No, I'm just kidding. So um, are you and Katie still living together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We still live together um, by necessity, practical. Oh, Tom, what are you? <laughs> Tom. Oh, no. You told me. You told me I couldn't break the baccarat. That is a good friend. Save the day. Okay. It's okay. That was a very Adam. Yes. I did try yours. Yes. There you go. Wait, oh. can, can, who, that, you guys, I know it's a little predictable or chuggy as um, Katie has introduced me. You guys, can it's I just say thank you for coming here now. out tonight? My bad. Thank you for coming out tonight. You guys, thank you for having us. <laughs> yes, like, thank you. you. Um, seriously, I'm honored to be on the stage with you guys. You're killing it. You guys are just okay. So back to what we were talking about. Yes, I'm still living with Katie. Um, what do you guys want? What do you want? Wait, I'll tell you anything. Wait, does it work? Oh, that was a, that was a, that was. A she wants answer. to know if you're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Oh my god, I think I'm okay. Tom, I think you're all right, man. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Um, Wait, are you love you, dude? Cold? Yeah, actually. Are we a little bronze? I, no, that's that's bronze. That's yeah, sad. I'm bronze. Um, I'm as good as you can be coming out of a long-term relationship where you've been madly in love with someone. And, uh, and listen, I I know I don't. You guys, <laughs> wait, you're breaking up with me, dude? <laughs> that's fucked up, man. By the way, that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, Zach. Okay. All right, uh, you guys. Again, thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is not me clinging on and being needy and desperate, Tom. You better fucking keep bringing wearing that ring, dude, because it's it, giving me hope. It's just. That, it's just that. Uh, the, I don't. I don't want there was such out, a man. profound love there, and I feel naked without it. I'm not clinging on. I am not. I think you're doing pretty well. All things considered, yeah. you're here. We have some whiskey that we're promoting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a new bar that we're opening, Schwartz and Sandy's. Like, give it up for Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval, everybody. We just went deep. Thank you, guys. And can I just add to this really quick? My parents have been married 11 times collectively, so there's hope. Okay? There is hope. There's hope. 
I'm hanging on to that dream, man. I don't want to see my parents break up. And well, mom and daddy split. We have Tom giving out bourbon over here. But while he does, what is this? When in Rome. Do, do we have another question? I We do have another question. Actually, That's my Sandoval, this question's for you. We have a question for you. I'm so, I completely destroyed your stage. I mean, okay, I used to model better. back in the day, and this would be a fucking I disaster. I can now tell people Tom Sandoval got me all wet at my show. Oh this is a runway. This would be a fucking disaster. Okay, so Sandoval, this next question is for you. We've been following you on social. And by the way, we knew when we invited the Vanderpump Rules cast that shit was going to get fucked up on stage. We knew. Um, but we love you. And we love Sheena and Bra. And Ariana. Yeah. Okay. Ow! Don't run. When I first met Ariana, I asked her, I said, how do I say your name? Do I say Ariana or Ariana? And she was so sweet. And she said, you can say it however you want. Oh, I think it's yeah. hard. I think she was so sweet. I think it's kind of hard. Yeah. The yeah. actual pronunciation is Dumplin'. Oh, Dumplin'. Okay. All right. So, Sandoval, we've been following you. We've been keeping up with you. And you had a tour. We're doing music. And we're not only doing it, but we're doing the damn thing. Dude. What sparked this pivot? I, I gotta say, um, when it comes to music, um, it has been one of the most favorite things I've ever done in my life. It's not necessarily a pivot. Like I started off, I was a marching band. I, I started playing trumpet in fourth grade. I took piano lessons. I pierced the arrow. Pierced the arrow. Who remembers Pierce the Arrow? No, no, only OGs remember that. Ariana. Season two, we opened up for Martha Davis in the motels. I can tell you, like, when a band breakup happens, it is it, it is so emotionally catastrophic. For me and for most people I know, like musicians, like it, when when it happens, you're just like, fuck. Like all like everything that you've put into that to that sound, to everything, the, the, the hours, the, the love, the, the everything. And so I remember when like Pierce Sierra broke up specifically, like I didn't play guitar for two years and I was a lead guitarist <laughs> in that band. But, but here's the funny thing. Here's how, here's how Tom Sandoval and the most extra started. So Jason Vader and his wife, Kimmy, hey, right over there. J shout out to Jason. Fucking legend, both of them. Um, so we, Jason, we were working together. He was helping me like do you, we were doing YouTube. He was helping my YouTube or whatever. And then one night, one night, Jason is like, dude, after a few beers, he was like, yo, um, I would love to be in a cover band. And I was like, dude, I would be in a cover band. I would do a cover band. Like, yeah, like people don't have to come out and like be into my shit. They can come out and listen to like their favorite songs. Yeah, fuck yeah. Right? To their yeah, credit. let's get like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten members together and fucking start a band. <laughs> to Tom's credit, can I just say something real quick? By the way, how you guys doing? You guys still here? They're better now after the bourbon. To Tom's credit, you know, when you have these conversations at three, four, five in the morning, we should start a band. Fuck yeah, we should start a band. He followed through on it, and they went on tour. And they're blowing up right now. Wait, were we microdosing for that too? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I'm like, uh, I'm like the person that. If you plan to see my mind, like, fuck it, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> well, last time we watched you guys on Vanderpump, I know Ariana was talking about opening up a sandwich shop. Has she come to you for some business advice? Being that you guys are now, like, Bethany Frankel, serial entrepreneurs? Well, I, let's not go that far. Uh, Tom's working on the jingle right now. <laughs> and a one, a two. 
a one. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I think Ariana's probably good on free advice, considering she's a lot smarter than me. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but Dumplin and Katie, like, they're very smart people, and they got a great fucking team. And their I got like their pitch but deck pay. looks insane, by the way. You guys are gonna want to eat these sandwiches. Oh my god, it's not really coming out of my mouth, anyway. <laughs> And I think, I know that we had a question uh, with oh, in. Yeah. Jason, do we have another question? Oh, give me all. Oh, he's, Jason, oh, no, no, no. He's, he's, oh. he's, he just matched Jason. with somebody. Jason, <laughs> are you over there matching with people? <laughs> he matched with someone on Bumble. I'm, I'm no, waiting, that's okay. I'm waiting for these to come in. Come on, man. Share right the now. wealth. So I, Ayako001 asked, uh, when did you guys first meet and was it an instant? Friendship. I remember after when you were inside each other, I finally asked his name. You didn't have to do that, but I, it melted the world to me. And I feel like I felt the seismic shift. And I was like, shift, no way, we should live together. Seismic <laughs> shift in our relationship. No, okay. So when me and Schwartz first met, I was... Uh, he had an ongoing Craigslist ad. He was like eventually gonna move out to LA. And you know, that thing was like predated. Wait, what? Anyways, so you know, when we first met, like I could tell, like I remember I had a conversation. MySpace was a thing, you know. I talked to Schwartz, he's like Checked out my MySpace. He was like, "Yo, this yeah. dude's like a fucking model and shit." And I, I was like, so, at his, guys, like, I was so impressed because he was doing everything that I wanted to do that I didn't have the courage to do. I was living a repressed life, and I was I was working a corporate nine to five, and I was making good money, but I secretly wanted to be doing what Tom was doing. <laughs> when I first heard the sweet sound of his voice, he's like. I'm like, I'm telling you, man, I was so impressed. I was like, the Yo. sweet sound of that nasally voice. Yeah, I'm fucking, it's a panty dropper, let me tell you. <laughs> no, when I, when, when I got on the phone with Schwartz the first time, well, first of all, I checked out his MySpace, and his MySpace was like fucking Florida State, arms around dudes, like kind of passed out in pictures. And then when I talked to him on the phone, he's like, Yo, I can't wait to trash your place. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I never went to college, but, like, I would visit my brother, and it's like, we'd go to a frat party, and be like, fucking frat dudes, man. What the fuck? <laughs> and, but the funny, that, no, but what was funny, too, is, like, when Schwartz picked up the phone, he's like, yo, what's up? Like, you like, he, like, put on the front, dude. Yeah, he's That's like, awesome. when I'm nervous or trying to impress someone, I like to lower my voice. And like, <laughs> you know I'm talking about yeah. <laughs> well, the marriage seems to be going strong between the two of you. Your latest baby is Schwartz and Sandy's. We've gotten many updates about it, but is there a, a, a opening in sight? Well, let me let me. Can I describe to you uh, Schwartz and Sandy's in four words? Ooh, please do. It's like a four-word mission statement. <laughs> All right, you ready? Do it. It's fire, fucking dope, tight. Do you guys get it? You know what it's like, right? Well, we could tell that he can count better than Brock. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Hard. I think, I, actually, we should crowdsource our mission statement. Wait, wait, our, should crowdsource. wait no, no. our mission statement is let's get the motherfucker open. Okay, okay. That's our mission statement. Okay. okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, we do we do have an update on that. We're looking at mid late June. Okay. Of twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six is gonna be a good year. The, the second, av third, four fourth avatar is going to be coming out, dude. <laughs> We're trying to, like, time our release on that. Right? 
But are there going to be some good uh, Tom's Good Loving cocktails there? Are we oh, you the better Tom's? fucking believe it. Come on now. Ow! Tom, you have a, ever since you started touring with your new band, you have this newfound stage presence. Yeah, it's like a swag. He has like a presence over here, and he's like playing out. Yeah. He, he's playing to the back of the room, too, and he's like, you better fucking believe think, it. I'm like... I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm digging it. I like it. Shorts. By the way, this is your show, not our show. I, I want to hear more. By the way, we're the most extras. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. She's right here. <laughs> no, but also, wait, I know you had some other questions because. Microphone. I was, well, I was going to ask you. I mean, obviously, we know we can expect your cocktails, but what more? Like, what, what is the vibe of the new restaurant? Because you walk in. Sir, Pump, Tom, Tom, they're all different, but this is you guys, your stand. Oh, uh, I saw the wink. Is that your, does that mean it's your turn? I don't know what that means. No. Oh. <laughs> it means you're cute. I'll tell you later. Huh? No, you know what? Instead of, instead of us telling you, like, what you're gonna, what you're gonna see or what you're gonna experience when you come in, I would rather you guys come in, have that experience, and tell us what the vibe is. It's open to You know what I mean? Like, I want uh, you guys to fucking it's tell us it's art. what the vibe is. We're also going to have to decide on the missions. What was your experience? I just want to say something to everyone. <laughs> Tom Schwartz has Rob Lowe fucking energy. This motherfucker is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Okay, I do have another question really quick because we know that obviously we're going to have to wait and see, but can we at least ask you, why did we decide on bourbon rye? Like, why? Well, we thought about tequila. Okay. But, like, do we really need a fucking tequila, another tequila right now? I mean, yeah. come on, let's... Yeah, yeah, no. It's like the vodka of 2022. No yeah, no. <laughs> and we don't need another Lisa Barlow. We're good. Yeah, we've, we've got enough tequilas right now, right? Do we have enough? Do we need another one? Do we need, like, have you guys John Malkovich to come out with a fucking tequila right now? By the, <laughs> by the way, I... Malkovich, heard, Reposado. We don't, we, we don't gatekeep tequilas. Um, I encourage you to try local, um, authentic, uh, regional tequilas. I encourage that. I tried Kendall's. It's actually fucking... a one cent. Yeah, man. No? I love that, like, I love that she, like, goes to the agave like fields, it. and she, like, smells the agave, she, like, roasts it. You know, yeah, she's, she does it, man. I mean, there's only a multi-billion dollar family. It's so legit, there, man. So. It's authentic. It better be good. They Tequila. First self-made millionaire. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, we, I, I, I think that. When we when we first met Peter Spice, our, our partner, when it came to the uh, to the rye and the port blended bourbon, Schwartz said it best. Well, hey, we ran into him. You guys don't want to hear this. It's too late in the night. No, you don't. This is not interesting. We ran into him serendipitously, and he introduced like this little port blended bourbon, and we're like, oh my god, it's kind of sexy. It's like, usually when they do a a port blended bourbon, they age it in port barrels and it's sophisticated but then you feel guilty if you want to mix it with coca-cola ours it's affordable but it still has all the fucking charm of oh come on man the first time you took a sip of that you were like mm, that's some good love i did say that yeah. you did fucking say that and i was like what oh that is a vibe that's what I, I mean. I was like, you took the words right out of my mouth. And you named the whiskey, didn't you, Tom? I did. Yeah. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. That it's all over the stage? Sure. <laughs> that. And Schwartz. Mostly beer. Schwartz, if the loving's that good, then why did Katie divorce you? Uh... It's a different recipe. Different recipe. That was good. Ooh. I felt that one in my phalanges. Well, Schwartz, 
Now we are approaching the 10th season of Vanderpump Rules. Did you ever envision that it would last this long? Did you ever envision Vanderpump would last this long? Oh my, I never, well, personally, from my point of view, I never thought I would um, be on reality TV. I don't want to get too deep here, but Tom, um, from my perspective, season one and two, I thought I was going to be an actor. I thought I was destined for great master. I wanted to be on a procedural master CSI West Coming Hollywood. That's what I wanted. Tom Schwartz. Anyways, um, CAA, you better no, get ready. Your question. Marvel, you better get Tom. ready. Mactor, Tom Schwartz. Let's not indulge too much here, Adam. I, hey, listen. Anyways, no, I never in a million years. When we started Vanderpump Rules, there was still a stigma attached to reality TV, you know? Dude, I remember, Dude. like, I had done like 10 movies, 10 shitty movies. No, they're really good. They're really good. They were like Google 23 so minutes to sunrise later. <laughs> hey, hey, I was, that was one of my favorite ones. Solid. Sorry, Chris. How about Pitt in the Sorry, Dodie. No, but I, I was very serious about being an actor and obviously my music. And when the show came about, I think the biggest fear is like there's so many reality shows that like sort of happen and you know like I, you guys remember like america's uh smartest model that fucking reality show like i liked that so show. i would be right yeah i liked that show okay so like i from time to time like run into those guys like pickle and, and daniel that was on it and like the new pickle like you know, like if you Google them, it's like the only thing that comes up. Yeah, I love pickle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyways, so I guess the worst thing would be like being on a show that lasts one season that like completely kills your acting career and then like it's forgotten like five seconds later and then people yes. like Google you and they're like, oh my God, he was on this one second for like a minute and then like that happens. Th that's the point. That's the fucking point. Mom, point. come on, man. So, Not in front of everybody. Don't be all well, uncool. Thanks, Mom. I, I do have another question for you guys, though, because I am curious, and I always ask this, especially we do a lot of interviews, right? And I want to know, what is it, say the show comes to an end, because all great things come to an end. When it does, what's on the horizon? Like, what is after the show? Ten years from now. Only fans. Okay. <laughs> Only fans. Only fans. Yeah. We have Sonia Morgan in the house. I mean, Sonia Morgan's on OnlyFans. I mean, my mom told me I should join OnlyFans. She's like, why haven't you tapped into that market yet? Well, and I was like, maybe I will. Let me rephrase this really quick then. If it's not, if it's Vanderpump Rules ends, would we do a Tom Tom spinoff or a Tom's spinoff? Shorts and Sandys. I mean, look, if Evolution, NBC Universal came and they're like, oh, you guys. Tom's want to do a spinoff, like, I sure as fuck wouldn't kick her out of bed, man. I'd be like, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. All right, Schwartz, we have an Instagram question for you. Yeah. People want to know, do you still have a crush on Lisa Vanderpump? Oh. God. You guys haven't seen the tattoo? Show it, show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. I realized that at some point I'm going to have to get Bubba taken off my ass. Um, Don't take that off your ass, man. That's a moment in time. Come on, now. Okay. Yes, of course. Oh, my God. Lisa still flows into a room. I'm your future ex-wife's going to love that Bubba tattoo. I promise. <laughs> Are you showing Show the it? tattoo? No? Your other one. I mean, he's pushing you to show it. Yeah, you let's see it. You want me to let's hold see a little place? LVP, dude. Can you please just moon our audience? You did it on Vanderpump Rules. Come on, whip it out. Oh my God. Please. Please. We got to see the ass tag. Where's the LVP?
You guys come to the bar. I'll show you afterwards. You have to get up, you have to get up in there. Yeah. I'll show it to you. <laughs> I think the LVP might be on the acorn or something. I don't know. <laughs> Jason, do we have another live stream question? I do, I have a live stream question um, from Charlie, and she says, who makes better drinks, Tom Sandoval or Pandora? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. That's, Whoa. God's That's fire. Who I wish that? I could see Pandora's face right now. Huh. Well, well, you know, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is like, you know, if you, I can't, I can't fight against Google. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't like, like I'm not, I don't, I don't like claim to be the best mixologist in the world, but she sure as fuck is good at Googling the ones and like recreating those drinks. <laughs> she can pour some rosé. <laughs> Do we have another one, Jason? Let's take one more. Yeah. That was mean. Pandora yeah, is a very sweet person. This question is also for, for it's also a lawyer. Sandoval. When is the wedding and have you changed your mind? But I don't know if it's you or... When is the wedding? The wedding? Yeah. Between you and Ariana, have you changed? Did we get engaged That's overnight and we didn't know about it? wedding? Wait, what? That's not for me. That was... Yeah, no, they said, are you and Ariana going to get married this year? How do you know we haven't already? You're not allowed to get married uh, unless we don't at another that. cast member's event, though. Like, that's the new rule. Yes. For Rock and Sheena had you, know, you know what our question is? Because every time, you just added another five years by asking. <laughs> another five years, Dumplin. At 95? 95? 95? Probably 95. <laughs> we'll, we'll get married around 95. I mean, to be fair, we're kind of, we're in the same position as you guys. Like, Jason always asks me every year. He's like, when are we getting married? I'm like, you're fucking out of your mind. We've been together for eight years. So. <laughs> you need an ultimatum. They work. No. No, I, no. Have you ever tried one? You can't give me an ultimatum. When are you going to spend Bill 20 Bashi. G's on them flowers? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think with that, guys... Give it up for Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval, hey! everybody. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. I think guys. we have... Hold on. I'm sorry, wait, guys. Wait. I'm sorry. I think we have an answer. Oh, someone wanted oh, to give we, an answer. We have an answer. Don't play. We have a surprise guest. Yes. Oh, what up? I'm not getting married, number one, and no, it's not like that because Tom has literally never, in the eight years we've been together, said to me, when are we getting married? He's never said that to me. It's not the same. It's only random people on the internet that we do not know. And there it is. I said, Ariana, do you want to get aggressive? She said, yes. I said, yes, let's, let's figure this out. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, aggressive. I mean, uh, I'm an arrested. Yeah, we're getting arrested. We got yeah. miss, uh, miss All right, guys, give it up for Tom yeah. Schwartz and Tom Sandoval. Thank you, everybody. Thank you guys. Wait, wait. I got one more thing. I got one more thing. Yes. Because people been. Um, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but like, I was supposed to um, replace Kanye um, at Main Stage Coachella. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Um, but. I just, I, I couldn't find like the right outfit. Uh, Jason broke a couple of his drumsticks. So like we, we abandoned that. We, we decided to let, you know, we, we decided to let the weekend and we, we you know, but, um, but we are, we are doing, we are doing a show May 10th. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to announce it right now. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. Drum roll. Drum. Okay. Oh, we're doing What's up? Stuff? Everybody say hi. Hey. All right. So our show is in Venice, May 10th at the Venice West. 
I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for putting up with me. I know I'm a lot and super fucking annoying. This guy really helps and balances me out. Schwartz is one of the coolest people I've ever met in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us, Adam, Zach. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Fucking killing it. Guys, thank you so much. Now, guys, meet us at the bar because we're throwing a mini divorce party and buying short drinks. Yes! Hey! All right, there you go. Our interview with Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz. What a fun time. What what a vibe, guys. What a vibe, but it was so much fun. We had a blast. Thank you to Tom Sandoval and thank you to Tom Schwartz for coming out and for supporting us. Guys, thank you for supporting the Spilling Tea Live Tour. It has been a dream come true, if I haven't said that enough. And we are just so, so grateful for all the support that we've shown. Um, we do have coming up on the podcast um, interviews with Molly Hopkins and Cynthia Decker from 90 Day Fiance and from Pillow Talk on TLC. We have our interview with Emily D. Baker that I believe is going to be dropping next week. And Emily's going to be talking about the Girardi stuff, the Jen Shaw stuff. We asked her a couple of questions about, you know, some of the questions that you guys sent in about like Will Smith. Um, a lot of good stuff to come. So get ready for that. Emily D. Baker on the podcast next Wednesday from our Nashville Spilling Tea live show. And then next month, we're going to release a lot more content and a lot more good announcements that will be coming soon. So get ready, everybody. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. If you want to give me a follow and support me, you can support me at Just Plain Zach. Follow the show at No Filter with Zach if you want to keep up with the latest tea. I'm also on Cameo now. So if you want a Cameo, maybe for Mother's Day, maybe Mama loves me and you want to get her a little Cameo, you can head over to Cameo. I'm at Just Plain Zach over there. Zach Peter, get your Cameo. Get it this weekend. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. Love you, mean it. And I will talk to you next week. Bye. <laughs>